Okay, let's try try that again. This, these, there are really strange things happening with our communications um, at New Zealand Public Party HQ, and I'm going to see if that'll come up again and start again. See, wait to see some live um, comments coming up. Yeah, really weird with our communications. We've been having all sorts of strange things all day today. Um, some of you may have seen my um, my interview on Camelot today, which was completely um, blocked online. We had loads of people that were that were trying to make comments that could, could, couldn't do it. Hey, Mia, kia sis, Ooks, and Georgina, Ruth. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I was talking away there happily just a minute, and then... I just yeah just stopped and we're getting lots of that with different things um those of you that um that saw me on camelot today on on camelot tv in the uk they got completely shut down especially when we, we started talking about certain taboo subjects they immediately got shut down so that that's not good guys there's censorship happening everywhere but anyway let's stay with what we know as i said earlier i had a phone call today from a very worried mother maria cody and um, her daughter Laban and her four children have been stuck in quarantine since Tuesday. They've come back home for a very, very sad occasion, which is to bury um, their father and husband. And it's very, very sad. Um, they haven't got COVID. They've applied for an exemption and they've been locked down. And again, there's no information flow to this whānau. So what are we doing here in New Zealand when we have people coming over for such um, sad and important things? And this government is not... Um, allowing for any type of logical um, management systems of people in the in this in this position, the sad position that they're in, and on top of that, there's no information flow as to what rights these people have got, who's dealing with them, and who they who they can speak to at the Ministry of Health. Now, the first thing is, when this girl came, got off the plane, lady got off the plane with her children. She was told that, that she'd been in Auckland. They got taken to Hamilton, okay? Not, not allowed to do anything about it, not allowed to resist it. They got taken to Hamilton, and that's where they are now. And tomorrow, her father's uh, tangi funeral um, is tomorrow in Auckland. So it's not good, guys. We've been ringing around trying to find out more information about it. But um, uh, Marie, the, we haven't been able to find a lot. Um, we received the letter of decline in regards to the exemption for Laban. And there's just nothing on it. There's no details other than a no. And that's just unacceptable in a democratic society that we are meant to be in New Zealand. So please, uh, family, if you, if you can, please find a, a Ministry of Health um, email and bombard it. Um, the ladies, the girl and her whanau that are in um, in lockup in quarantine in Hamilton, her name is Laban Cody, spelled K-H-O-U-R-Y. I'm probably pronouncing it funny but it could be Corey K-H-O-U-R-Y and um, her name is Laban and she's got four children and they're locked in quarantine in, in, uh, in Hamilton and they're trying to get to um, uh, trying to get up to Auckland for tomorrow's um, funeral for her father and that's such a sad thing anyway so my, my, my love and my old heart and prayers to that family that whānau going through that okay just a quick couple of ones guys because I do have to move on now um, get home um is we have got an incredible event um, on Sunday, but we've got a great event tomorrow night in Dannybrook. Please come along and support it. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to connecting with all the people there in the uh, in the Wairarapa and meeting you all. So many friends I've got to meet down there for the first time. As I say, I, I feel like I know you guys. Kia ora, Matthew. Um, I feel like I know you guys because I see your profiles and your pictures and your kia ora aroha. And, um, you know... Um, I feel like I know you guys, even though I haven't met most of you in person. So thank you for your support and encouragement. Now, um, also Sunday, don't forget Sunday, our big rally and our and our partnership uh, merger celebration. And again, I just want to say to all the trolls out there that we are not subject to any type of um, process with the Electoral Commission, that this merger and us standing has got nothing to do with it. So someone called um, Kieran, I think it is today, trying to bombard everybody with um, information saying that, that we're not going to be able to stand, that's completely incorrect and it's actually dishonest because you don't have your facts straight and you don't know what our situation is here with NZPP. So I'm very proud to say that when we when we do um, announce um, what, what we're doing, you will see that the other party that we're registering with, um, that we're using the register and we're partnering with, their name will be there, New Zealand Public Party will be here, and you'll see me and you'll see the other 
other other leader there. I'm ranked number one on the um, on the list. I'm the senior partner, and the other person is on there as well, and and our candidates and and people that they've got and people that we've got. So don't be fooled, Farno. Don't let anyone distract you from from coming to this event and, and supporting it because this is a major major stand. Um, most some of you would have seen my interview on Camelot today, and um, you know New Zealanders. We are being watched by the world, Fano. There's nothing surer than that. There is the entire world is hoping like mad that New Zealand will wake up and stand up for democracy. Because if we don't stand up for ourselves here, that's telling all the people around the world, all all of the tyrants, that they can do the same thing in their in their countries, and they can't. So we are going to stand. We are going to stand up, and we're going to protect our country, protect our futures, protect our babies, our children, and all those children that are going to be born in the future. But if we don't do it in this election, then we might as well find another place to live, because New Zealand is not going to be a good place to live, I'm afraid. And if this communistic um, government gets in again, it'll be over, and we don't want to let National go in unobstructed by a strong backboned opposition um, like us, um, then it's also going to be over because they will try and do the same things, except they'll be wearing a blue jumper as opposed to a red one. Um, also, just want to uh, to uh, mention um, that there are so many people supporting Sunday, all of, all of the volunteers, all of the helpers, um, all the people working behind the scenes to make this happen for you, for New Zealand, for Aotearoa, for all of us to come together as a family and to get sorted and so that we can defend our country. So anyway, guys, that's enough for me. I'm beat. I've had a long, good day today. I met some amazing sovereign people today. And um, it's just exciting to meet so many um, great leaders and people that are coming behind this movement, your movement, our movement. So guys, have a good night. Have a rest if you can. This is the time to rest. And um, and I just want to wish you all God bless. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night in Dannyburg. And look forward to seeing you on Sunday at our rally and our celebration. Take care all. Have a good one. Kia ora.